what's that called? A prelude? A prelude? Prelude, prelude? Prelude. Prelude. Yeah. I was right. Yeah. Not a quaalude, okay? That's different. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> and I'm sketchy? You're over here talking about drugs. Hugs, not drugs. Okay. I don't want to hug from you. I only want to hug from people who give good hugs. I give great hugs. Who's told you that? I'm a little bony. Who's told you? Who has? Miles and Tyson. Let's, first of all, welcome back to the shed, okay? We're just out here. It's the Lord's Day. We're over here taking communion. Well, first of all, I'm concerned because your children are lying to your face. But, let's, <laughs> let's talk, you know this hit me. Okay, struck a chord. Let's tell the people what's happened recently. My nine-year-old son. Mm. Okay. Mm. Just to contradict your accusatory mm. words. They do not lie. My children are, well, they do lie about, like, stuff that happens between them. But they don't typically lie to me. Let me give you an example. <laughs> I.e. <laughs> the other night, we were sitting on the couch watching TV. Mm -hmm. I don't mm. know how it came into conversation. But my nine-year-old said to me, Mom, you are so cringe. First of all, it hurt me. It hit me like a wrecking ball. Because you realized you okay. were Cindy Jean? I was pissed, actually. <laughs> and I said, I am not cringe. And he doubled down and said, everything you do is cringe. And then you reflected on your mom and realized how you became no, Cindy Jean. No. First, oh. I am very very similar to my mom, which is scary because I was like, I will never be like her. She's so mean. She's actually a fucking G. I'm okay? pretty sure you thought your mom was cringe at this age. No, I thought she was mean. I mean, they go like- She didn't oh. really do- well, she had that cowbell. I don't- I think he was saying like, I'm not cool. Like, I'm uncool. Yes, that's exactly what he was saying. Like, uh, like he's a little embarrassed. Like, ugh, he cringes. So I feel like the difference is I never really thought I was cool until like my high school. Like, I was not cool. No. I, I went to Catholic school till. You know what? I'm going to send you that picture of you with the glasses that I used to hang at my desk. <laughs> yes. And I want you to insert it. <laughs> that's, okay. and the, that's the exact example. Like, when I switched from Catholic school to public school, I clearly knew I was not cool. Like, there was no, I was not confused. Okay, when I came to field from Kenmore, like Everybody they, thought you were a hood. they made sure they told me that I wasn't cool, which is fine. Like I, I had no style. Like I, don't, I wasn't cool. I was just like pretty and smart, obviously, and nastily funny. Trashly. Okay. Back to you. <laughs> so like, I never thought I was cool. So I really never thought my mom was uncool. She was just like a mom. I never. That was never a comparison in my head. Miles has like this group of friends that he runs around with, right? And they think they're like really cool. They're nine and 10 years old, folks. They're not cool. But nonetheless, he told me that not only does he think I'm cringe, all of his friends think I'm cringe. Not all of them. Not Caleb, sweet Caleb. Mm -hmm. I hope I hope you're watching, guys. Okay. Well, so sweet. But all of his other friends, and I said I will call their moms right now. And yeah, that's a cringe move. That's he laughed and said that's cringe, <laughs> and they will all say that you're cringe. Then he went on to say that Chris Taylor is not cringe. That checks out. So Chris Taylor's cool and I'm not cool. When did that happen? Because I got cool. Okay, I glue up people. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm cool as shit. I'm super cool. I'm a trendsetter. I'm out here fashion forward. I did get this sweater at the thrift, so I'm not, this is not necessarily fashion you forward. You got a wagon over there, oh my goodness. I also, <laughs> I wore that weird outfit last week. I'll link that one up. I, You're I not can cool. be cool, yeah. okay? And then, when mm -hmm. I asked Tyson, Tyson, do you think mommy's cringe? Because again, he's kind. Some days, most days. Um, that's just because Miles and I are the same. Miles is very much like me, so he I don't like that. He looks like Chris Taylor, like acts like you. He's a smart ass, and he's trying to get his teeth knocked out. But neither here nor there. Okay, yeah. I digress. Mm -hmm. Tyson, my sweet boy, he says, No, but your breath does stink. Kick him while they're down. I will I like say. That. I respect that about him. My family. My has the worst breath I've ever smelled in my entire life. 
I don't, my, we do, my siblings and I do suffer from bad breath. I like to call it rotten throat. Like there's something in all of your throat that's just, you were born with it rotting in the back of your throat. It doesn't get any better at time. You've tried mouthwashes, you've tried different things. Guys, I'm even a constant flosser now. I floss in the morning and the evening, which I did not do most of my life, but it really just doesn't help. Like gum doesn't help. I don't know. Our morning breath is the worst. And Miles has it real bad. <clears throat> and it's all of us. And the weird thing is we all have really nice teeth. Like not really nice, but decent, decent mm -hmm. teeth. I mean, we all take care of our teeth. Oral hygiene is like important in our household, but somehow my breath just never really Always smells that smells. great. Maybe all it's all the dickle that was in here. I don't think that's it. I think your your breath just smells awful all the time. Remember that trick where you would like Don't do that. Doesn't really smell like anything. <laughs> Did you ever do that? No. Oh, me neither. I don't have habitually Was bad that cringe? Yes. <laughs> so I have they're very honest with me. Well, one. Your hugs, I'd give them a C average. <laughs> oh we go. Okay, a C average. What about if you're really sad? Because I feel well, like when you're really sad, you want a hug from me. So that's I was going to say you that does average. That okay, a hug is just based on a hug itself, not the mood in which it's received. Okay, that's why it's a C average. Yes. So when you're sad, my hugs are an A, and on a regular day, they're an F. Is that how you give me a C average? Because that actually makes me feel less good. Oh, then no, that's not what I was getting at. We, I can see you. <laughs> My peripheral vision is decent, exceptional. Oh, okay. Thank you, Doctor C. Tell Jerome I said hi next time you see him. Okay. <laughs> just got my text that I'm due for an eye exam. Well, I it's just, always around Christmas. Which I makes sense. Already this year, so I've seen them. Okay. He's still stylish. Anyway, so I'm a C average mm -hmm. hugger. Now me, on the other hand, if you're the right height, you can burrow. Okay. Your abs. I was gonna say I like when I'm sitting on a bar stool at my sister's and you give me a hug. Mm -hmm. That's the perfect hug. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a solid A average. If you're the right height and you can burrow, I feel like that's the time. I'm actually dropping you down to a B. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. Okay. When I hug, you get handsies. <laughs> I want my hands to just fall where they may. No. Mm -mm. You know, I don't know. They, Sometimes it's all, here. Sometimes it's here. No, they're all. It's Sometimes always, it's here. I don't know where it is, mm -mm. but when you swap me away and you say no, <laughs> that drops you down a solid. You're a solid B. I'm not even a B. Here. First of all, a hug is not contingent. No. It includes, on you filling me up. It includes wherever my hands go. No. I can't control these. <laughs> I hope that was your chair. Wouldn't you like to I'd like you to remake that sound. Oh. <laughs> no. Saint Cher. <laughs> She's not even lit. You can't call to Saint Cher if the candle's not lit. You're Catholic. You should know that. Don't you need to light the candle? This isn't hocus pocus. <laughs> You're definitely not a I virgin. Can okay. <laughs> You're not a virgin. Light the black flame. I candle. can. See Speak to the saints whenever I want, okay? Let me tell you a little something about Catholicism, okay? Okay, educate me on this fine Sunday morning. All you gotta do is repent. That's it. That's the, that's the trick. That's the secret, okay? Then why do you have you different walk, candles okay. to different saints? Because different saints are dedicated to different causes, right? So okay. like you wear a... Um, St. Christopher. St. Christopher, okay? He's a protector, yeah. right? That's mm -hmm. his thing. Or like St. Michael, he's the warrior saint, mm -hmm. right? So they all have different things. So at times you can call upon a specific saint to hear your so plea. So isn't that how you call upon them? By lighting their candle? But if I'm like laying in bed, I can talk to whoever the hell I want, okay? Mm -hmm. It's just basically like Sunday all called? the time. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. I can just, hey God, what's up, man? Rough day today. Made some poor choices. Sorry about that. And I'm back in. You gotta mean it though. You can't just like throw it out there. You gotta mean it in your soul. But you can like use tone Why and inflection to help. Why do you guys call it intercession help. instead of prayer? I didn't write the rule book. I just have questions. Catholicism seems like a lot of work to me. To be honest, I'm a non-practicing and I know that surprises a lot of people out here, okay? 
I'm a non-practicing Catholic, mm -hmm. which means I was raised Catholic, so mm -hmm. I understand the basic foundation of the church and the expectations, right? And I just politely decline <laughs> to follow all of them. I would consider myself non-denominational. Okay. Okay? I love the Lord. I know there's a higher power. Okay? He calls to me sometimes. That's why I'm here. But... <laughs> You know, okay. there's just a lot of rules. Okay. It's a hard... To, it's a hard knock life. It's a... For us. Okay? By us, I mean Catholics. Some people really choose to walk the path straight and narrow. Okay? My cousin Kimmy is like myself. A, look at Kimmy! She is out here just living the Lord's life. Mm -hmm. She's going to show up at the pearly gates and a red carpet's going to roll out. Okay? She's going to walk in naked, looking beautiful. Everybody's going to praise her. Like, I'm going to have to bargain my way in, I feel like. Like, I hey, St. Like Pete. <laughs> I feel like Take when I here. get there, Jesus is going to be waiting for me, okay? Well, you're going to be naked. Isn't that what yeah. the Bible says, mm -hmm. right? You're going to be naked. Yeah. But I feel well, like... I feel like everybody's going to be... They're going to be <laughs> lined I, up around... I'm going to be there. But, yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> but I feel like Jesus and I are going to do like a LeBron James style mm. handshake, like a... And then you're going to throw yeah. up some cloud. <laughs> <laughs> like... We're gonna, and then I'm just gonna walk through with him. And then I'm gonna, I mean, I think at the pearly gates, everything is revealed so you don't have to ask questions. I want I feel, Santa to stand there. I need to know what color Santa really is. I have, <laughs> but I feel like I'm gonna have some questions. Like, I know everything is gonna be revealed, but I feel like it I need like to chop go, it up. By the yeah. time you get there, right, your mind is like, mm -hmm. like you just know. Exactly. But you think you're still going to have unanswered questions that are like know. in the corners of your mind that Maybe. the Lord didn't clarify for you mm -hmm. enough? When I hit like that. you have follow-up questions? Maybe. I'm very inquisitive by nature, okay? Or you don't get it the first time, so you've got to ask again. Call the up. details do matter, Call though. I'll give you, you that. Want, but i got to ask questions. What color do you think Santa really is? Brown. You think? Mm -hmm. My mom has... Well, you know. Mexican. Mexican, white, white Chinese, black. Yeah. black. She's got like every Santa because when we were young, she didn't, you know, she was, I like to think she was trying not to influence our understanding of like the Christmas magic, right? Well, you But did. now I think they were probably just on clearance. If we're being honest, I feel like she just picked the ones that were on the, the end all, cap at Target at the time. Your mom is very open and very understanding of all races, all colors, all creeds. Who are you? So are you talking about Bud Ice herself? That's true. She did, but <laughs> I feel like she's open to the idea. Yes. She was raised in a time where she makes but, some comments that are questionable at best. She doesn't mean them in a negative light. No. Okay. She never means to be hurtful. She's but, always shocked when I point yeah. out to her like that was not appropriate. She's like, what? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Either way, I agree. But she's generally she's generally open to mm -hmm. it. So I feel like she was like, you know what, cultural diversity. She was giving you your first cultural diversity class. Hannah's been to one. Hannah's out here learning. Hannah, I'm proud of you. Okay, I'm proud of you. You're diverse AF. Yeah. She told me she's been to like six now. <laughs> Hannah, look, you know what? We should hold a diversity class. We should do it. A diversity class. Yeah, remember when I took you out with me and then you told people that you just started lotioning daily and those ladies were upset? I didn't lotion and after were... my shower last night. I know, and I woke up today regretful. I did wash my face and lotion my face, but I didn't do my... I need pedicure so bad. First of all, those ladies looked at you like you had a third I miss them. And we should I go get some peanut brittle. I feel like diversity class will... You're that's like, to me, that's not a, that's like a, that's a cultural difference. Uh, Caucasians don't understand the power of skincare. Yes, they don't. <laughs> Moisturization, like, they, we just don't get it. We just feel like this skin is a gift, but listen, it's really a curse. Okay. <laughs> I just, I mean, I was never raised in a Caucasian household, so I just always know after you get out of the bathtub and or shower, you lotion your body. Well, my mom didn't really preach lotion, hence her dry skin. Okay, and sensitive skin. She's also blonde with blue eyes and just sensitive as shit. She's made some bad decisions in her life. She's made some good ones, okay. She's made some bad decisions in her life. Okay. I don't even know, what did we even start this, oh. 
Moral of the story, folks. <laughs> I am not cringe. Yes, you are. I am not cringe. Debatable. My breath does kind of stink sometimes, so apologies if you're really close to me. I'm a really good kisser, though, so... You don't let me tongue kiss you. That's not fair. You don't know the power of this tongue. It you looks weak compared to others. <laughs> Your tongue looks feeble <laughs> and it's, mendable. <laughs> it's not. My throat is deep. <laughs> okay. I got some people who can vouch for that. Either way, <laughs> it's my husband. That's the one I was referring to specifically. <laughs> Christmas is coming, folks. We got a whole series about to roll out at you. Okay? Not unlike if I were to take my pants off and my dick old roll. Roll out. <laughs> we have to have a whole nother martini. Trashly funny. Okay. <laughs> thank you for watching. Please subscribe. do us a favor. If you're subscribed, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Subscribe, share. Get us another subscriber. You know one person. Or a thousand Just more. take their phone and if, subscribe to us. They don't even have to know, really. I don't really care. If you work in an office building, just take everybody's phone. Just go up and down the aisles. Take COVID's real, though, phone. so make sure you take, like, a... Gloves. Clorox wipe. Mm -hmm. Oh, or gloves. That just works, take too. gloves and be like, you're subscribed. Merry Christmas. And then it's we'll a free gift. It, everyone's always looking for. Speaking of, aren't we doing a giveaway with free gifts all yeah. through the month of December? December is the month. Did you hear that plug? Don't wink at me and say plug at the same time. I don't like it. I got five on it. I gotta go. All right, guys. Thank Bye. you for watching. Subscribe. Ow.